My name is Greg Webster. I'm with Turner Construction. I'm the uh, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing manager uh, for the MGHPCC project. We use um, uh, Navisworks and other AutoCAD or Autodesk based softwares to do the coordination for the building. So when we receive a project or when we're working on a project, we have our subcontractors generate their coordination drawings or coordination images in AutoCAD 3D and we import them into this tool Navisworks which is a AutoCAD based, it's a viewer so to speak, you can't really generate anything with it but it can combine these 3D images that are AutoCAD images, combine them and perform something called clash detection so that you can determine out of, you can determine if there's a hit or clash with other trades between a plumbing, for example between plumbing and electrical, electrical and duct work ductwork HVAC and then as a team through the coordination process you can figure out how to resolve those clashes. Basically you have several pieces of equipment and infrastructure that make up a cooling system. In the data hall is obviously the need to cool a lot of you know hot or heat generating equipment, computer equipment, but you've got chillers. You've got uh, two centrifugal chillers, one magnetic bearing centrifugal chiller that work in conjunction with a condenser water system that has cooling towers, various pumps, various heat exchangers that make up what I'll just in general call the, the chilled water system for the building, the main source or the main equipment, the main systems that serve to provide um, cooling to the building. So where I am right now is I'm on the south side of the building. This is the MGHPCC data center building. I'm looking north, so I'm entering from the south and I'm going to go inside here. You notice there's some elements to the outside of the building that are turned off for the purpose of coordination, but I'm coming into, let me just get a little better, a little better position here. I'm coming into the primary electrical room, you know, the main service entrance for the building, and I'll kind of position myself so you can see things here. This is where the main service entrance or electric feed comes into the facility and there's various pieces of equipment uh, main distribution switch gear which receive that source um, and automatic transfer switches which allow us to interface with generators in case we have a power outage uh, that the generators will automatically fire up and kill it and carry the uh, the critical parts of the building um, that need to remain up on generator so I'm, I'm, what you're looking at is this whole room is dedicated to the primary electric equipment which serves as the main point of distribution to everything else in the building. These are substations right in front of us that take 13,800 volts and convert them to 400 and 480 volts depending upon their application. And all these things coming out of the top of them are cable tray with feeders that serve um, smaller distribution equipment in the building and then that gets distributed even further to other things such as computer equipment. There's some small heating pipe in this area because uh, of potential freezing you know, conditions during the winter, but this whole area is nothing but electrical service. And that's kind of the area where you entered the facility. And then if I go back, you'll notice there's a lot of, there's a lot of piping for this building that's actually under the ground. There's nothing coming out of the top of this. Everything comes from our utility yard outside under all of the structure, turns up into this equipment and is distributed under the slab so that it uh, minimizes the amount of overhead work or, or you know, the amount of stuff over your head. So right now, sorry for confusing, but I'm just flying through walls. And <laughs> this is the main chiller plant for the facility right here. And what I was talking about before, these are the chillers that I was referring to, these are the main uh, components that, that cool the facility. Um, there's some other items in here that, that work as part of that, you know, some various, various pump equipment, uh, condenser water storage tanks, um, and a lot of pumps and piping that work to serve this equipment. These are some heat exchangers and more chillers down this way. If I start to look up above this, up above here, you'll see kind of what the overhead distribution looks like. Various levels of electrical sprinkler piping, um, uh, more chilled water piping over here that you can see, and 
domestic water, sanitary piping, everything that it takes to make a building, you know, like this operate. Over to the right, I'm showing more and more piping, duct work. Right now I'm actually in a piece of duct work. More piping here. This is a very congested area, as you can see. Lots of stuff fits into this area. And down here as well, below this, and all these transitions and everything that, that you do here. When, when you draw this in, this in this software, or when you coordinate this, these images are, are translated to the various trade contractors, um, shops, and they prefabricate this stuff all off-site based upon the coordination that was developed doing this, which makes very efficient very efficient um, production. But I'll kind of get down here and to the level of, this is kind of at, you know, at eye level here, where you would be in the building. All the various valves and components and main components have all been laid out. More electrical distribution. These are actually frequency drives to make pumps work. They put a little person in there just to, just for reference. <laughs> Sometimes that's fun to do. So, this is all dedicated to the cooling for the building and for the data center. And the predominant heating load or cooling load in the building is everything that is up in the data center.